Well, it is a celebration of diversity, inclusion, and really being proud of who you are. The Grand Rapids Pride Fest kicks off this weekend at Calder Plaza. And joining me now is Tommy Allen, board president of the Grand Rapids Pride Center. Tommy, before we delve into some really deep questions that I want to ask you, because there's sure. been a lot, a lot of stuff going on. First, tell me what's new at the festival this year. So what's new this year is that we are 31 years, which is great, because yeah. every year you add a new one, it's like, okay, we're one more further we're down the road there. than where yeah. we were in 1988. Progress. <clears throat> and we uh, have a theme of pre proud to be, mm -hmm. which is really important because we want people to feel proud here of sure. who they are. And so we're really centering on the individual this year with a lot of cool things happening, mm -hmm. including a community stage that's happening for the first time. Okay. And this community stage happens in the afternoon where it's a lot of voices that often don't get the stage have a chance to have their voices through their talents illuminated as well during Pride. Very cool. Tell me a little bit more about that because I, I, I'm yeah. interested in learning a little bit more so, about that. So, yeah. you know, one of the things, you know, when we talk about LGBTQ, we often think of white people, and that's just not the case. It's everybody, really. Mm -hmm. Every place you go on the planet, you're going to meet queer people. Mm -hmm. And the reality is, is that often that's not reflective in our society. And so we wanted to make sure we had a stage where much diversity is presented. And the community stage, which is being produced by a group called the Drunken Retort, okay. they're a group of spoken uh, poets that celebrate every Monday at Stella's and on downtown Grand Rapids. And we've asked them to help us program this. So we have people who do music, spoken word, or maybe just going to be reading something they wrote. But the idea is to give community voice a platform at Pride this year. And then, of course, at night, we have a really big party plan for everybody on oh, stage. Yeah. Which I'm going to say, we have the most drag queens performing in the history of Pride. Because Grand Rapids, who knew that you loved drag queens so much? I, I right? Hate... Well, the, I mean, the brunch, we, we've been talking about how popular it is. Like, totally. selling out. So. Oh, absolutely. Looking forward to it this weekend. I got to, you know, delve into something um, a little bit more intense here, Tommy. Obviously, with what's been going on around the country between the discrimination laws, the 50th anniversary of Stonewall riots, and then um, what's been going on with, uh, with between like panic and uh, assaults at uh, pride festivals and pride parades. Right. It, it, this is an important year. I mean, there's a lot of focus. I, I think it's yeah. an important year. I think we go back to Stonewall and we, yeah. we know that it's been problematic for queer people in society for a long time. Mm -hmm. uh, I would say though that these are minor, um, they, they seem major right now, but I think when we look back, we can see that we're really clearly moving forward. Mm -hmm. And we're moving forward because of the intentionality around this event and other events around the country is saying, these are your children. These are your brothers, your sisters, your parents who are coming out in society. And I think that while there are people who maybe are not taking the time to listen or understand what it is to be queer in America today, there are people out there like me and others in our community who are willing to stand up and say, you know, let's just sit down and have a conversation. Come hang out with us. Mm -hmm. You know, let's just get together. And I think going back to, you know, drag brunch, I mean, <laughs> who would have thought drag brunch would be a big deal? It's fun. And I love it yeah. because now we have three drag troops in Grand Rapids. We have Power Diva Productions, we have Beauty Beyond Drag, and of course drag brunch and all three of them are doing gangbuster business in this town and around the state to be honest would you have ever thought that you would have had like three by now i mean that's never yeah. i never would have thought that in fact we're really proud that we can feature them because we often don't talk about people in the area of queer business mm -hmm. and that's something we want to illuminate on stage but remember we also have maya coming to town sissy rocket and also Max. And Max was the Art Heart Radio like runner up or nominee for one of the best new artists. A so, lot of awesome music coming to town. Absolutely. So we're going to have a lot of fun this Saturday. So if you get there, yeah. the, the main show, now the whole thing kicks off at noon, mm -hmm. but the main stage programming, if that's what you're really looking for, okay. begins at 5.30, 5.45, and then we'll run until 11 o'clock at night. Well, there you go. There's the specifics for you. And right there on your screen as well, we'll have that all, all that information up on our website as well, 13onyourside.com. Tommy, thanks so much for Stop and by and chatting with us. Thank really you for having it. us. We uh, love coming to 13. All right. Thank you so much. Stick around. We'll be right back.